Ann Orsini, and this is Nonstop Connecticut. Today we're visiting New Haven. New Haven is the second largest city in Connecticut and home to Ivy League school, Yale University. Each year, students lead thousands of walking tours throughout Yale's iconic campus. Stopping at the Beinecke Library, the Yale Center for British Art, and other notable spots. While visitors have their walking shoes on, culinary tours are not to be missed. I'm here with our food guide for the day, Colin Kaplan, who's the owner of Taste of New Haven Food and Drink Tours. Now, Colin, you offer a variety of different tours. Uh, tell me, what are some of your must-sees? Sure. We have nine different tours all over the city. We have walking tours and biking tours that take you to things like Indian food and pizza and coffee and wine tasting. Wow, so a great variety. Oh, yeah. What can your visitors expect on each of these tours? Well, we do a little bit of walking. We do some history teaching. No tests, luckily. Mm. Uh, but we do. We have a lot to eat. It's about a, a big meal, and uh, we also serve drinks. And so it's a really fun time for a family or a school group or an office group. It's a lot of fun. Sounds like fun. Let's get our food on at our first tour stop, Bar. A restaurant and lounge that serves traditional New Haven style pizza and their own micro-brewed beer. While the traditional pies are top notch, they also offer unique alternatives. Like the mashed potato, bacon, and onion pizza. Give it a try along with a flight of beer featuring samples of their in house brews. Bar is also a popular nightlife spot and has regular band performances and DJs with late night pizza kitchen hours too. Wow, I think I'll have dreams about mashed potato pizza tonight. Now it's happy hour time at Temple Grill. Must be 5 o'clock somewhere. A Yale University staple, Temple Grill is a great place to get a quick bite between classes or to enjoy a specialty drink on a Saturday night. One of their unique menu items is a create your own salad card where you can pick from a big list of greens, toppings and dressings to concoct the ultimate salad. They also have a long list of cocktails and martinis for every preference. I'm here with our mixologist, Brian. Brian, what are you gonna teach us to make today? Today we're gonna to make a signature Temple Grove cocktail called the Cranberry Apple Teeny. So what's the first step to making this drink? Rim the glass with a little lemon and some sugar, green apple vodka and sour apple liqueur, a little sour mix and some cranberry. Give it a nice, nice shake. We add fresh green apple. Thank you. Mmm, that's delicious. Cranberry apple teenies might be the best way to get your daily fruit intake. Now we'll head up to the top of the city at John Davenport's. For one of the best views in the city, I'm here on the 19th floor at the Omni Hotel on Temple Street. John Davenport's offers an upscale atmosphere where you can enjoy an elegant dinner with a view of New Haven, a breakfast buffet, or a fancy cocktail in their bar area. This highlight on the culinary tour makes for the perfect dinner spot if you're planning an evening out on the town to take in a show at one of the nearby theaters. Such a beautiful space. I'll be coming back to check out the view at night. Now it's on to our last stop on the tour, a place called Ordinary. That's anything but. Close to both the Schubert and Yale Repertory Theater, this is a great spot for a quick bite and a drink before the show. The bar has a rich history dating all the way back to 1659. There was even a hotel upstairs where presidents, athletes, and actors would stay on their way through New Haven. Ordinary is known for their half yards of beer and bartenders will suggest a drink pairing with any of their cheese boards or smoked meat on grilled cheese sandwiches. I'm here with Jason, one of the owners of Ordinary. Now Jason, this place seems so original. How did you get the name Ordinary? Uh, well, this place is not original at all. It's all about history, actually. And we got the name Ordinary because it's a word that used to be used to describe a tavern or a bar. And we got that from our friend Colin, the historian architect that helped us uh, sort of design the place and come up with the concept. How do you try to honor the great history of this bar? Uh, well, one of the things we did was to create a timeline, and the timeline basically is a history of what this space has been from the very start 
back in the late 1600s up to present. And the other thing we did was to really try to key in on classic cocktails with our own new sort of spin. We all heard that this space was available and it's got all this wonderful history in New Haven and we all had a different connection. So we came together and came up with this original concept. So we're doing some really cool things like barrel aging cocktails, we of course have some great craft beers, and then we've got a slew of esoteric and different wines that we're doing. And then, you know, cheese, grilled cheese, and barbecue now. Wow. Yeah. They also host a variety of fun events, including cocktail of the week contests and a great happy hour. Well, that's it for this episode of Nonstop Connecticut. Colin, I had a great day. Thank you so much for taking us around. It was my pleasure. I'd love to do this again soon. Absolutely. Let's get some beers, huh? Yeah. I think I said beers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some beers. <laughs>